Jillian, congratulations. Uh, I guess what are the emotions after you know picking up a you know a hard fought but dominant win over Michelle Watterson here in International Fight Week? Um, I guess everybody knows me. I'm always looking for a finish, so I'm content with this victory. Uh, I against a veteran like Michelle, I knew it was going to be hard, and she fought a smart fight. She played very defensive a lot of the time, so it didn't really give me the opportunity to finish. So. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm content with the victory. <laughs> and we see some of the bruising, I think the fat lips. So I guess physically, how are you feeling after a fight like that? Physically, I, I'm feeling great. I actually got, uh, I think, four or five stitches in my lip. <laughs> so yeah, uh, more than a fat lip there. Uh, literally the first thing I said after the fight, I was like, I can't smoke weed tonight. <laughs> so, so that was my biggest worry. <laughs> Priorities, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, Michelle at Media Day, uh, she said, you know, like, I hope she takes me to the ground. I got a couple things I've worked on in camp. So I guess, was she better than you expected on the ground? And, like, did she have, like, you said she was playing defense. Were you surprised that she was kind of stopping a lot of your attacks? Um, I don't think she was necessarily better than I expected on the ground. Uh, I... I, I guess I was a little bit thrown off that she even, uh, well, I, I kind of expected she might shoot on me when she shot on me in the third. I, I was able to reverse it fast, obviously. Um, but yeah, I don't think I was necessarily surprised. I think every girl in the division is going to be surprised whenever they get on the floor with me. And I do have to ask, obviously, Michelle uh, announced retirement. They played that montage for her. Did you know that that might be a possibility? And what, well, I guess, what are, the, what are your thoughts on being Michelle Watterson's last opponent in her MMA career? Um, I guess I considered it as a possibility, just knowing her age, where she's at in this sport. I assumed that I was probably going to be her retirement fight. And I was saying, I'm like, it's such a weird sport. We elbow each other in the face a hundred times, then I want to go give her a hug because I see her crying. I'm like, I respect her so much in her career and all she's done for this sport. And yeah, she's a vet and she's really, uh, she's made a name for herself and all women in this sport. Last one for me, I guess, what do you want next for your own career? You know, you're on this run in this division. Uh, are there names, are there dates, are there places you want to fight? Uh, I said it in the cage. I, I'm ranked 15, Michelle's 14, so one through 13, I'm saying yes to anybody who calls. Congrats on the win. How, how fun was it? How exciting, how just energetic to have this, the, the fans behind you, not just at T-Mobile, but International Fight Week. I think honestly just everything about this fight in general, I was so excited. I was excited for this opponent to be at T-Mobile, to be on such a huge card, International Fight Week. Everything was just exciting to me and I think it showed in the fight. I was really having a lot of fun out there. I think, and you beat me to the punch, I think when you're having fun is when you're most dangerous. Um, how was the talks in between rounds to keep that focus and just say, you know what, it doesn't matter if it's a 10-8 or not, I'm going to go in for this kill and, until the ref could have pulled you off or we go those one-sided 15 minutes? Well, um, I was watching a lot of Michelle this morning, just like try to calm my nerves a little bit. And I noticed she starts to get stronger in like the second and third round. She kind of has a lot of grit in her and comes back. And I didn't want to give her that opportunity. So when it, after the first round I dominated, coming out in the second, I wanted to show her, I'm still here. You don't have any space. I'm still in your face. Is this something that we could see going forward to where you, you keep these new paces and kind of incorporate it into your game plan and don't let anybody get ahead of you, that they actually have to catch up to you now and you could just control the whole fight that way? Oh yeah, every single fight you're going to see me improve as a fighter. I'm evolving every single day. And I think you guys see it every single fight, that I'm just really becoming a well-rounded mixed martial artist and becoming a champion. Excellent. And, and last for me, how soon do we see you? You said you can't smoke or nothing, but you smoked your opponent. <laughs> how soon do we get you back in this cage? Um, I'm hoping maybe December-ish. That would be a nice timeline for me, I think. Excellent. Can't wait. And congrats on the win. Thank you so much.